L is going. I have no idea what you can talk about. You just kind of channel. You just go with the flow. I know you, you always do. You're a quantum healer, a holistic coach, a hypnotherapist, psychic medium teacher, and a TV host. You've been doing this for a long time. You enjoy helping people identify their 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 soul through searching, connecting, and engaging gifts that tap into the truth, their elevation, and uh, their well being of, of everything they have to do. She has created this quantum DNA shift that only Elle can do, and no one has any idea how she does this. Um, but I've heard many great things about her. She utilizes the angel of the angelic realms, the family members who have passed before her, as well as past life regression. She's helped many people who've had unwanted people or unwanted habitants have come into the bodies. So like anytime I have a client who like, like I don't want to deal with in a kind of way, like dark energy, she goes, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I'm like, okay, okay, you can do, you can do that sometimes you can and cannot and you don't want to so i'm i'm, I'm willing to pass the torch to you l thank you baby. and you know thank you for being here to support me today we did have little you know challenges with our communication with electricity and everything else and you stepped up to the plate i appreciate you being here and just share with us for the next 25 minutes of what you have to offer to the world sweetie you got it baby Tom. and you just let me know if it's 8 or 9 30. Well, hello everybody. I'm Priestess L. <laughs> I know it's cute. Sherry gave me the elevation because what I do is I connect to you and I help you raise your vibration so you are able to um, connect to your I am. You know, we're, we're all going through uh, a crazy time with the COVID and all the different things that are going on. And people are a little fragmented. You know, you don't know uh, what's to come, how things are going. And what's really important is to kind of bring your energy back and to um, tune in to yourself and um, cleanse and clear whatever it is that's preventing you from having everything your heart so desires. And there's different ways and different tools that you can utilize in your life to co-create um, a healthy, positive, um, life of manifestation, happiness, and seeing your life um, flow, because that's what you want to do. You want to enjoy life and um, not put on the brakes. I enjoy seeing um, you manifest your dreams. And that's being in that alignment. What it is, what is it that you want to co-create in this world? And um, I, I think that most times people are so into, I got to do this and I got to do that. And there's that they're not into really what they want, what would make them happy. And, and that's what we're meant to do, be happy. Um, now, there's a few wonderful ways that I, I help assist and I teach. And uh, one is working with the violet flame. So I don't know how many of you are... Um, aware or have utilized the violet flame, but it's, it's a beautiful, powerful way to, um, that I use to assist people in co-creating that happiness, that healing. And the violet flame works in threefold. It works with unconditional love. It works with transmutation and forgiveness. And a lot of times when we're going through things, we can overreact um get highly sensitive and so sometimes that forgiveness is important to self as well as you forgiving others so if you can envision a beautiful essence so i know i utilize it whether i want to have a spot whether i see uh energy or or um a conflict or i want to create something the i utilize the violet flame and I utilize something that is the power of intention. Hi. So one of the things that I use with the violet flame and the power of intention is I am a being of violet fire. I am the, the light that God desires. I am violet. I am Wow, I'm feeling somebody's energy really intense. 
Wow. Huh. Um, mm, I'm, I'm super sensitive. So when I start feeling um, something, it, it's like I want to do through that discovery. Um, and, and I'm feeling, uh, I don't know if somebody wants to come forward. Um, <laughs> do you want to bring someone onto the screen? Yeah, right? yeah. Danielle, can you come forward for a second? Would you mind? Are you there, princess? I'm feeling Natasha. That's what I was just sensing. I Natasha, just... are you with us, love? Hello? Hi, I'm here. Oh, beautiful, princess, beautiful. All right. Is it my energy you're talking about? I, I, um, I'm trying to tune into it. I feel it like right in the center of my chest. Um, all right, so... Um, where are you from, Natasha? I'm from the UK. Sorry. There she is. UK. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you for joining us today. Aww. So you're going through some heavy hitter emotional things right now, huh? Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, I so knew you were talking about me when you said I can feel someone's energy. <laughs> it's like so intense. It's like I, I, I feel like there's so much, so many things you want to act on in your life. And, and I, I just feel like you're holding yourself back in, in so many ways. Does that make sense to you? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, hmm. So when you were a, a little girl, did you feel like you um, a little bit stepped on? Oh, yeah. You know, we're, we're going through another time frame. We're, we were going through, um, we're going from the Piscean age to the age of Aquarius, where th everything has been heightened. So even if you felt like you've worked on things, things right now are, are like, um, intensifying to make us cleanse and clear it so we can move forward. And I don't so, think I've, yeah. um, sorry, I don't think, I think I've tried to work on it, but I don't think I've, I've managed to do it. All right. What happened when you were 11, princess? Uh, First thing that pops into your mind, don't even think about it. Big school, big school, going to big school secondary school and how did you feel about that uh i didn't really like it i didn't fit in uh and also because of our culture it was like there was a lot of pressure my mom was very very controlling um and she had everybody following her. I didn't fit in at home. I didn't fit in at school. So, and I, I just didn't feel like a normal child. I, I don't feel I had a childhood. Like it wasn't happy anyway. It, it, there were times like moments here and there, but from the age of 11, it was like, I've just become this person that they need to control, they need to watch. Um, and I didn't have a choice in a lot of things. It was, you've got to do what we're telling you to do and that's it. Now, did you ever hear of a Merkiba? Have I, did I ever hear of? Uh, uh, it's kind of like a, a symbol, a Merkiba. It's a no. high vibrational symbol. All right, because what I was hoping to do with you if your heart so desires is as if I see you in this high vibrational murky bar and what that looks like is if you can see uh, a diamond, uh, a triangle down and a triangle up and you being in the center of it. And I'm envisioning your vibration raising in the center of that murky bar. So we're, we're right now we're gonna help you create a healing, if that's okay with you. Are you all right with that? Yeah. 
All right, baby doll. So if you can connect to the vibrational energy that you're going to be stealing inside this murky ray of light. And now what's going to happen is if I could see this murky bar of light moving around, you're moving around. And the essence of that is, is it's to raise your vibration for you to find a playfulness. Okay. When's the last time you laughed, baby doll? Oh, um, very, very long time ago. Okay. Well, we're going to get you to laugh in a second. But before we do that, now you're in this beautiful an energy of protection, okay? A playful protection. And what we're going to do is we're going to envision your mom and this beautiful violet flame. And in this violet flame, it's a loving flame, okay? It's a, a flaming of... Uh, transmutation that she should learn that that, that that vibrational energy is going to help her. Huh. Wow. She holds on to a lot of sadness. If you look into the eyes of your mom, what do you see, sweetheart? Um, I'd rather not look. Uh, I, I see a lot of anger. We don't talk. Um, what I would like to do with you, if that's okay, sweetheart, is you're not looking at it through your eyes, okay? You're looking to her at, in, um, as if God does through her eyes as a child. What did she go through? I don't know, because um, she, she was uh, the second youngest, and apparently she was quite, quite loved and wanted and I think her problem was when she got married to my dad and she had to leave India and she had to come to England. And I think that's where her world broke because my grandparents weren't the best of people. So there was a lot of, um, there was a lot of uh, mind games that my grandparents played with her, played her off against my dad. Um, but my dad was very true to her. He 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 moved he moved her out of his uh, mom and dad's house. And but I think I've always grown up and I've always seen her quite bitter about. Well, I shouldn't have even got married and come here. So if it's okay with you, we're going to surround your mom with love, love that she, and that violet flame for that she goes through a transmutation, a healing and understanding that she went through a lot. And so as she got older, she wasn't the loving parent that you heart, that you so needed. But we're seeing you in this beautiful vibrational murky bow of light. And we're helping that little girl play. And we're going to help her see that she's gonna change her life from this point forward. Would that be okay with you? Yeah. Okay. So if we were, wow. Huh? You're ticklish, huh? Me? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's so funny. It, it's like I could feel as if the angels are around you trying to get you, trying to tickle you. Um. <laughs> it, it's like this is your time in your life to be happy now to kind of cleanse and clear all that was and for you allow you to start seeing the things that give you joy. So if you were to tell that little princess, are there some fun things that you absolutely adore that you, you experienced in your life? Uh, I enjoyed working and um, coming to university and And that wasn't it, really. I've got a little girl. I've been, it's been very difficult for me to, to be a proper mom to her, but I'm very, um, I really do try my best with her. She's probably the best thing in my life. I, I see a beautiful light that's shining upon you actually upon everybody that's here right now. 
And that beautiful light, what it's meant to do is if you can allow it to feel that vibrational energy shining on the top of your heads. And it's cleansing and clearing all the old thoughts, all the things that were of lower vibration, all the sadness, all the things that I could have, should have, and allowing you to breathe in the light of all that is. Allowing you to breathe in through your nose, the I am, breathing out. Everything that is not of love, that is not of truth. Feeling every cell in your body starting to feel more alive. Vibrating at a whole new frequency. And in this beautiful, wonderful vibrational frequency, starting to feel I am enough. I am love. I am magical. And feel the vibrational energy move through your chest, your abdomen, your spine, your root, your legs, feeling this beautiful flow of vibrational energy, feeling lighter and freer. <sighs> Wow. <laughs> As if I, I see Metatron asking you, did you used to have dancing shoes when you were little? I don't know why. I, I, see it. What? I, used to, I used to dance on my own a lot when I was younger. Um, I used to put the music on and close the door and dance. Um, I think I used to do that up to the age of about 22. So if your heart desires... Feel your vibrational energy where you feel like you want to dance. That every day is a new dance, a new vibration. Put on the music and enjoy your life more now. This is your moment in time to show your daughter that you got this and that life is getting easier because the more you play and the more you relax and the more you soak in the love of who you are, the essence of light, Are you able to sense or feel anything right now? Um, I feel quite calm. I feel calm within myself. Okay. Calm is beautiful. But I don't feel any love towards my mom. I don't I mean, you don't, you don't, what, what I was uh, resonating in doing is not allowing yourself to hold on to the hurt and the vibration of what you had in the past and for you to find that little girl that danced and and focus on that focus on that vibrational energy that's within yourself that is your truth because you are fabulous and you are fun you just gotta let yourself I play. find it very hard to let go of how she made me feel because it, it, it's not who you are now. You're a new vibrational piece of, of light. Yeah, um. I think it just winds me up thinking about her, if I'm honest. It, it, it winds me up. It makes me quite cross and then I just blank it out. It's, mm -hmm. I, I understand. I've spoken to her since I was about... Uh, 18, 19. Would you like to energetically cut those cords of hurt and pain? Yeah, I do because of my daughter. My daughter would like to meet them. Um, and it's been about a year now that I've been saying I need to make contact. I need to make contact. But... I find it hard to do that. I find it hard to write a letter. All right. Are you familiar with Archangel Michael? Uh, yeah, I've heard of him, yeah. Okay. He's a, a beautiful blue vibrational energy of truth. He is like the legion of angels. And, and he, he's like the police. And he loves protecting children and, and adults. 
So if it's all right with you, mm -hmm. he's going to help that little girl within you. So if you can breathe and connect to that beautiful little girl. And allow that little girl to see a beautiful blue laser light, like a beautiful blue laser light show all around her. And it's cutting all the cords that made her feel less than, that she didn't matter. Anything that, was, that wasn't of love. Hey, uh, Ellen? And, yes, sweetheart. Um, so I think at 7.30, Patricia is supposed to go on. Oh, yeah? Is that where we're at now? Uh, 7.20. All right. All right. Now, did you want to give away a door prize? Yes, I do. Love. I do. Okay. And what would that be? Mm. Um, I, I have a, a half-hour session that I was giving away at Quantum Healing. Okay. And, and what is that worth? That's worth 144 Whoa. Okay, hey. everybody, pick a number between 1 and 99, and Ellen will pick a number, and Ellen, that was awesome. Thank you, love. Yes, and uh, so in the chat, write the number that you have uh, for that session with Ellen. Okay, here we go. From 1 to 99. And Sherry, you're muted. Yeah. Hey there. I'm here. Okay. Take advantage of a session with L. 